following a 6-1 to one win for Nichols. They beat Lamar. They score six unanswered runs. Caden Hatcher, your senior righty, first complete game at home in his Colonel career. We can talk about Dane Simon. We can talk about the Kyle Knopf two-run big blow, the two-run double by Lee Clark, but it all starts with Caden Hatcher tonight. Sure, you know, you mix in a freshman with Dane Simon delivering a blow, but Caden, everything started on the bump, and uh, he was outstanding for us, but he was on a mission all week. You can kind of tell it all week, so uh, that's the reports he kept getting back from Coach Butler. He was ready, he was ready, he was ready, and so uh, he definitely worked for this one, and, and certainly, um, you know, it, it put us in great position, but we knew what we, what we had all night. He set the tone early. Sixth time this season, you've turned to Caden to pitch over 100 pitches in a game, and we've seen that confidence grow. Last year, it was about getting through the fifth inning, and now it's hard to even remember that there were fifth inning struggles for him last year. He's gone at least seven plus innings and six Southland Conference starts. This one was extra special. No, it was really good, but you know, listen, I strongly feel like he can be on, on the right day the best arm in our league, and, and he showed that tonight, and he can do it every week, and, and so. Uh, but we played great defense behind him, and uh, you know we were down one nothing. We had to, to scratch and claw to try to get it back to one one, and then we delivered a big blow with two outs late in the game. But you know you just knew he was going to keep you there, and the reason why everything happened was because of what he did on the mound tonight. That was play in the first inning was big, and, and for Caden to be able to have the you know the gall to be able to look back the runner and, and throw it to Joey at second base and turn that in a, in a bang bang situation. And, it, it took a, a senior to be able to do that, someone that has some savvy to be able to do that and make that play and deliver the perfect ball to the second base of turn. So that one was big. The double play at the end was big. And um, I, I, look, these guys, Adama steps into the box yeah. with, you know, he's been hot. And, and, and to get him to, 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 for us to be able to make that pitch, for Kate to be able to make it, and for us to be able to turn that double play, it really kind of set the tone for the rest of the game because, it, you know, we could have given in, and we didn't. With a little toughness and killer instinct, we were able to, take a charge, so to speak, from, from what we've been talking about, but I'm extremely proud of, of that. Well, before we bring Dane Simon and Caden Hatcher in here, a message to these two men as you approach the home stretch in this 2018 season. Well, both of these guys are, are capable, one, but they're, they're hungry and their, their work ethic is, is outstanding. And so for them to understand what deserving victory is all about is, is, is special as a coach, but we've got a long way to go. And, and certainly these two guys are a huge part of what we're trying to accomplish. The 1-0 pitch to Simon, a rocket shot down the left field line, and it's fair. It's a leadoff double, and the go-ahead run stands at second base. What do you guys think? This is our new post-game setup. You like it? I love it. You <laughs> <laughs> All right, freshman, I want to start with you because that was an unbelievable double, and you reach your last three plate appearances. You get the walk, you get the single, you get the double. What did you see in the eighth inning that allowed you to lace one down the left field line? Really, it boiled down to the confidence and the – and the faith that my teammates had in me. I was struggling as of late, but you know they always believed in me, so just keeping that confidence, I would all to my teammates for sure. How, how much does belief play a part in this game, Caden? You got nine guys, and you got all believe in each other. It's a team game. I mean, I think that's the number one trait to win baseball. You got to have belief in everybody who's around you. Your belief has grown, and I look back to last summer and some of the things you told me when you came back here after making one appearance in the Carolina League. You, you had to tend to an injury, and that meant three months of focus. So you're here with your seniors, and you're not playing baseball for the first time in, in how many years over a summer. What did this summer teach you about belief and confidence? Um, you got one last ride at it, so give it everything you got, whether it's weight room, throwing, running, school. I mean, just give it everything you got. And I think by me realizing I had one year left, I think it helped everything just go up. You get a nine-inning complete game against one of the hottest teams in the Southland Conference tonight. And Lamar comes in here, they've won six out of their last seven in the SLC. They've won nine out of their last 11. First inning, runners are on the corners, there's no outs. And they just scored 16 runs the night before. And you're facing a former freshman All-American and second team All-Conference first baseman and Robin Adamas. How did you get that double play? And how did that double play change the entire complexion of this game? Uh, well, I got to see him six ABs last night, probably if I had to guess. So I, we had an approach today. We busted him in and throw a slider. And I don't know, he's trying to hit home runs every, every at bat. So... Um, I think by me getting in on them, backed them up a little bit in the slider. Yeah, it felt like you guys really formed a nice friendship by the end of the game. There were a couple a couple yeah. instances where he didn't even leave the batter spots and just stared you down. The beauty of baseball, mm -hmm. you, you can make some new friends during the course of a game. 
Yeah, I ran into a little bit of that last week, so I just left it alone, and <laughs> we're up 6-1. Let him talk all the trash he wants <laughs> over there. That run doesn't matter. It, it's, it's such a mental game, but it's also understanding we're here to win. We're here to worry about each other. Mm -hmm. Keeping the emotions in check, how much of that has been a part of, of your year, your first year as a Division One athlete, Dan? It's been a huge part, really. Um, emotions are high all the time, especially in conference games, but, you know, we always can turn to our leaders and our captains like we did tonight. Joe Morales, huge hit. Kyle Noff delivering the blow and having a great game on play. So whenever emotions are high and tensions are high, we can always turn to our senior captains, like Caden Hatcher as well, getting the job done always. Four years ago, it was Joey Morales, February of 2015, first start of his career. And here he is, four years later, he's a grandpa, he's been doing this 210 times. As a freshman, you're now in the shoes that he was in four years ago. What are you trying to take from these seniors that have been around the park a time or two and they, they have some wisdom they can share with you? Right. I mean, we get to talk to them every day and just really ask and speak louder than anything. And I believe by that uh, you should always lead by example, and they do a great job of that. So I'm definitely going to take that with me as I go for the next uh, three years. Nine innings, six hits, four strikeouts, one run allowed for Caden Hatcher tonight, two big hits for Dane Simon, the double in the eighth inning, and that really set this thing on fire. It was the first of what became six hits in the inning. You guys scored five runs in the eighth inning. How did it all come together in that eighth inning? I think it all came together with a lot of trust because it's, it's hard to sit up there and for Caden to go completely throwing zeros up over and over and over and is not getting much help from his offense. But we can see throughout the course of the game that we were getting it. Yeah. Our offense, we were getting guys on, getting them over, doing our job, running our style of offense. So we knew we were going to deliver the blow, and I think Caden had trust in us all night, so he just kept throwing up zeros like he knew how. It has to be really interesting for you to be back in this designated hitter role where you get to spend every half inning after your plate appearances. You're in that dugout and you're watching him pitch. You've spent a lot of time in right field this season, but as a designated hitter, what have you learned about pitching and this Colonel defense from being able to watch it play out in the dugout? I think we really feed off of the dugout's energy, so I always like to be a part of that. You know, DHing, hitting isn't my only job for, throughout the yeah. game. It's definitely a lot about bringing energy to our pitcher, and that just gives him confidence, and, you know, that's where your double plays come from. So having energy in the dugout's huge. I realize how much it feeds your, uh, your pitcher and your defense. Eighth inning, Colonels are scoring five runs, and you're sitting there in the dugout, and it starts with the RBI single for Joey Morales. All right, we're up two to one. Then you get two more on, on Kyle's head. All right, four to one. Mm -hmm. Lee gives you two more to make it six to one. And then all of a sudden, we see you running down into the bullpen area to get a little long toss in. How did that inning play out where, at the end of it, you've got to stretch your arm after 20 minutes of watching this team produce hit after hit? I mean, it was awesome. I knew it was going to happen. They were going to put another zero up. Um, it's just, it's awesome to see, especially a lot of upperclassmen yeah. besides Dane, but it's just, that's awesome for Joey to put the game winning run in. I, that's all I needed. And even Gates tier, just give me that ground ball to second, advance the runners, and, and let the top of our order come up. That was one of your most complete, constructive innings this season. There's a long way to go, and, and you guys would be in the playoffs right now with the way this weekend has played out, but knowing how much a win like tonight's can be that spark plug how do you keep that momentum, bottle it, and let everybody know that, that this Colonel come up is real? Yeah, and you know, we're trying to get to four in a row because that's what it takes to win in the, in the tournament. So yeah. we just got to <laughs> roll off of this momentum, roll off of this trust that we're building every single game and uh, see if we can compete every night. And I think if we do that and we play our style of baseball, we'll win after win. He nothing tell, nothing he, can stop us. Is he a veteran? He's speaking the language oh, now. A <laughs> How can you tell? What, what happens when they, they go from rookies to vets? Uh, actually, I hear him every pitch in the dugout, so he knows <laughs> everything about the game. He's just a mature kid. <laughs> you just got a compliment from a senior. Cherish it. Right. See Love our leaders. You're playing. You're getting ready to finish up your career at Destrehan High School a year ago. Do you remember what you were doing this weekend? Late April. Here you are a year later. Right. <laughs> now you're getting ready for a Southland Conference tournament run. Life comes at you fast. You and, and Zane Washington, a couple of summer ball teammates mm -hmm. with the Louisiana Knights, and, and now look at life. It's been, it's been an incredible turnaround. How do you finish strong? Um, and going on back on what you said about Zane, it's been awesome to watch him grow with me. But um, we finish strong by, by working hard every day. We prepare the right way. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but it just comes down to, to doing it. 
to getting in there and grinding and getting it done, just out competing the uh, opponent. Well, it's been great to have you guys live as we do our first post-game YouTube special from inside the kernel confines of the luxury press box. Say hi to some of your people real quick. You've got your fam back in Florida. It's nice to have your sis here, but say hi to whoever you want. This is a rare opportunity. The microphone. I'll give a shout-out to my mom, my sisters, and my dad. I know they're all watching. I love you guys. Yeah, shout-out to uh, my mom, dad, brother, sister. Love y'all. And show off the blonde locks before we break them uh, completely. Real quick, ah, let the real. flow go. Let, that hair go. let the flow go. <laughs> yeah. Can we give the background story on it? Break uh, normal's the slogan this season, and that is the epitome. Yeah, well, uh, it was a back to it. It was one of our captain's ideas. Uh, North, he just thought we should do something as a team, you know, mm -hmm. which is always huge, just bonding, a connection that can't really be broken. Built tough, built the last Colonel Bay small, right where, where they need to be. A huge win tonight, a 6-1 to one victory against Lamar. We'll see these two gentlemen do it again Sunday afternoon. It's a 1 p.m. start. ESPN Radio New Orleans on the broadcast. Nichols Athletics on YouTube. Your home for Colonel Baseball, ESPN Radio New Orleans, and Nichols Athletics on YouTube.com.